welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today's video, as you guys can see from the title, is going to be stocking stuffer gift ideas. So I did write down some stocking stuffers that I think will be great for kids. Some of these you probably already know of or probably have already thought of yourself, but I figured I would throw that in. So I do have 25 different stocking stuffer gift ideas for kids. But then also in these two bags, I am going to show you guys what I have already bought for my kids as far as stocking stuffers to give you guys a few more ideas. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. I also will be inserting some pictures right here of everything that I am talking about. And I will try to remember to link everything down below as well, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys if you guys are doing any shopping online this year for the holidays. So gift idea number one is going to be anything for the bath. So maybe bath bombs. I know Crayola has these little tablets that change the color in the tub. They also have washable paints, markers, and crayons for the tubs. And then also like any toys for the tub that can be like rubber duckies. Or my son used to have this really big boat and it came with a bunch of other toys that he can play in the bath with. So any toys bath bombs, bubble bath, anything like that, I think kids would really enjoy. Good idea number two is going to be Hot Wheels, trains, cars, trucks. I know both Dollar Tree and also Target always has small little Hot Wheels and like the wooden trains for only a dollar. Obviously, if you get a bigger pack, you want to get a bigger pack if you have more than one kid. It's usually like $3.99 for like a pack of three. I know Walmart usually carries like larger um, boxes of Hot Wheels that are like $3.99 again for like a pack of three so if you guys have more than one kid that likes hot wheels so you can always buy a pack of like three open it up and split it up into their stockings gift idea number three is going to be i think they're called like scratch books i'm not 100 sure what the name is but uh like i said i will insert a picture and try to link it down below but they are like little booklets that you use a little scratch um like pencil and the paper is usually black and then you scratch and either it'll reveal a picture or you can draw a picture. I know they have like a few different options to choose from. The one I had recently bought my son was one that he can draw pictures and it was really cute and it kept him entertained for a while. So I think those scratch books are also another great idea. Gift idea number four is going to be a slinky. So when I was younger, I loved slinkies and I don't think I've ever really bought my kids a slinky. We recently just bought my daughter a slinky and she loved it. So I think a slinky is another great stocking stuffer gift idea for kids. Stocking stuffer gift idea number five is going to be card games like Uno or any type of like educational game, maybe like the matching games. Dollar Tree has a ton of different card games that you can choose from. For only a dollar, I've seen educational ones. I've seen like goldfish. I've seen matching ones. I've seen just a ton of different um, games that you can choose from. So I think a deck of cards whether they are older and they want like a real deck of cards to play games or if you have a younger one who likes to play goldfish or matching games. So cards is another great stocking stuffer gift idea. Gift idea number six is going to be books and I mean like mini books. I know larger books obviously cannot fit in the stocking but you can find a ton of mini books especially right now in the Target Stellar spot. There's a ton of like miniature books especially if you guys have babies. They have like the really soft ones. Some of them have squeakers in it and some of them are also um bad books that are really cute as well. So any type of miniature book would be cute. Gift idea number seven is going to be sunglasses and you can find so many different sunglasses for kids. You can find character glasses. You can just find solid color sunglasses. And again, Target Seller Spot has a ton of sunglasses. I have seen them out recently when I recently went. So definitely check them out. I know Dollar Tree also carries kids sunglasses. And then I know Walmart probably does too, but I think right now Target Seller Spot will probably be cheaper than Walmart as far as sunglasses for kids. Next stocking stuffer gift idea is going to be glow sticks. And I don't just mean just the regular glow sticks. I mean, they have so many different options when it comes to glow sticks. They have like crowns, they have balls, they have bracelets, necklaces, they even have swords. There's so many different um, fun glow sticks that you can choose for your kids. They can have a little glow in the dark party. My kids love to turn off all the lights and play with a bunch of glow and dark stuff. So I know if you go to the party aisle in Walmart, they have a lot of cool glow and dark stuff. And then 
um, in Dollar Tree, I've always seen like crowns and swords and balls and stuff like that. So glow sticks is a great option. Next is going to be either a flashlight or a night light. My son is scared of the dark. So he needs like 5,000 night lights and lights on in his room. So you can get just like a small traditional cheap one from Dollar Tree that you plug in the wall or you can get a little bit bigger. I know um, Target has medium size um little night lights and they're like different characters that you can stuff in their stocking or maybe a flashlight they they can use at night or in their room or maybe if they have like a sleepover they have a flashlight the kids can play with so again with flashlights you don't have to just get a regular traditional black flashlight there's a lot of cute kid flashlights out there next is going to be either finger puppets or hand puppets so i will try to find a few different options and link it down below but this is a great gift idea if you guys have babies or toddlers they always love hand puppets and also finger puppets next is going to be if you guys have a little girl any type of hair accessory whether that is a headband some bows some clips new hair ties you can find so many cute hair bows at Dollar Tree. I buy majority of my daughter Madison's hair bows and like clips from Dollar Tree. Everyone's always asking where I get them from and Dollar Tree is definitely a great place to check them out. Next is going to be a disposable camera. I think that'll be so fun for kids to take pictures with a disposable camera instead of always taking pictures on like your tablet or on their phone. Like having them take pictures with a disposable camera, I think it'll be exciting for them to develop it and see how those pictures turned out. When I was younger, I didn't have any of this new technical stuff taking pictures. I literally used a wind up throw away toss out camera it would take pictures with me and my friends and then i would be so excited to get those pictures back and develop them so i think a disposable camera would be really fun for kids next is going to be a gift card and it obviously doesn't have to be a gift card that's like 25 dollars or more like myself i like to put things in the stockings that are just small cheaper items so for my kids, I would do maybe like a $5 gift card to Dollar Tree. They love Dollar Tree and if they have a $5 gift card and they can just go ahead and grab anything they want in the entire store, five items with their gift card. I think that's exciting for them to be able to pay on their own with their gift card. Next is going to be a wallet. I know my kids don't have wallets, but if you guys have a kid that usually gets a lot of allowance or maybe birthday money and sometimes they wanna use that money, when they go out to the store, if they have a wallet, they can go ahead and store the money in the wallet. So you obviously can put it in your bag to keep it a little bit safer, but I think kids will be really excited to have their own wallet to hold their own money. Next is going to be magnets. So I don't have any magnets in the house because they drive me crazy, all the magnets on the refrigerator. But if you don't mind, I think that's a really cute idea. I know Melissa and Doug has a lot of really cute wooden magnets. If you guys want something more affordable, obviously you can go to Dollar Tree. Target and Walmart does have more affordable options as far as um, little magnets for kids. Next is going to be bookmarks. So if your kids really like to read and they read a lot, so maybe get them a few different um, new bookmarks for their books. Gift idea number 22 is going to be kinetic sand. I know a lot of us usually do like Play-Doh or slime in the stocking, but kinetic sand, you can actually find really small packs of kinetic sand. Some is just a sand. Some come with like a few different toys that you can play with the sand. So I just think like a small pack of kinetic sand would be really cute to throw in the stocking. Next is going to be slipper socks. And I love slipper socks just because they are a little bit thicker than just like the regular socks that have like no slip grip on the bottom. So they are going to keep your feet a little bit warmer. So if you guys live somewhere where it is cold, I think slipper socks is really cute. Next gift idea is going to be coupons. And this one is free. All you do is print it out from your printer. I will try to remember it to find some Pinterest ones down below and I'll link it for you guys, but printing out some coupons and stuffing it in their stocking. So maybe one coupon can be maybe an extra like 20 minutes on their tablet or they get to stay up an extra 30 minutes, um, maybe a movie night where they're able to choose what movie you guys watched that night. So you guys can make it your own or I know there's pre um, written ones that ha already have ideas that you can print out. But I think that's just a cute thing. And I think kids would really like to be able to give you guys a coupon and be like, hey, I want to stay up a little bit later this night. Or can I have 20 more minutes on my tablet or TV time and give you guys the coupon? I think that is a really great gift idea. Next is going to be miniature water cups. I recently went to Target and they had a lot of really cute holiday ones. You obviously don't have to get like a holiday one, but they did have some holiday ones that I think were like 
only a dollar or a dollar fifty so i think miniature water cups for kids is really cute obviously if you have like a baby or a toddler you would get like the ones that have the cap on it so they don't spill it if you guys have an older one you can just get them a regular cute holiday or maybe their favorite character um small cup next is going to be punch balloons I'm not sure if that's the name of it, punch a balloon, but basically they are balloons that you put usually like rice or beans in and then it blows up really big and it usually has like a string and you kind of like bounce it back and forth. I know Dollar Tree um, always carries them and then you can probably obviously find it in any other store like Target and Walmart, but I think that's really cute as well. The last gift idea I have for you guys is going to be like a small little baking kit. Um, you can find miniature small baking kits anywhere for super affordable maybe one to make miniature cupcakes or miniature cookies. And then it usually obviously comes with like the baking mix. And then if it's cookies, it'll come with little small cookie cutters. Or if it's cupcakes, it'll usually come with the liners. And then some of them will come with like sprinkles and other stuff that you can put on top. But just like a miniature baking little kit would be fun, especially if your kids like to bake with you. And then obviously any type of snack. I know a lot of us always usually put snacks in our kids' stockings, whether that is candy or crackers or pretzels any type of snack the kids would really enjoy. But now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys everything that I got for my kids. I'm pretty sure I am done because this is a lot of stuff. I still have um, a few things for Madison. You are gonna see that majority of everything in these bags is gonna be for my son, Ryan. He is seven years old. My daughter's very hard to buy gifts for. If you guys are new to my channel, my six-year-old, who is my daughter, she is autistic, so she really doesn't gravitate towards like playing with toys or wants to play with toys. So buying her gifts is super hard, but I did pick her up a few things I did order on Amazon. I will leave a picture here and link it down below. I ordered her a small like little sensory kit. It has a bunch of different sensory toys. So I'm waiting for that to come in. And then once that comes in, I will wrap everything up and put in her stocking. But I did get her sensory kit. And in that sensory kit, it came with quite a bit of small little toys. Go ahead and start sharing with you guys everything that I've bought for my kids so far for their stocking. So the first thing is going to be this paint your own ornaments. And this one is for my daughter. I got this from Dollar Tree. Comes with two ornaments. Maybe Ryan can paint one and she can paint the other one. And then it comes with three different paint colors and also the paintbrush. Next is going to be for my son, Ryan, and it is going to be this little dinosaur head. He loves dinosaurs. He likes to dress up and stuff. So I thought this would be really cute for him. And it is kind of large, but it is kind of flimsy as well. So I can probably just like fold it up um, and then just stuff it in his stocking. And I got this from Dollar Tree. I'll try to remember to tell you where I got everything. I think majority of everything is from like Target and Dollar Tree. Next is going to be for my son and they are these little blocks. They're pretty much like Legos. I got all these from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure I picked up some more. They're probably in the other box, but I like these a lot. My son literally wants to buy every single box from Dollar Tree, but in each box you can build something different. So this one is a military like little plane. It comes with 25 pieces. And then it does usually have like a little um, instruction booklet to show them how to build it. So I got him this one. And then I also got him a fire rescue. This one has 26 pieces. And then I also got this one. And this one is a fire department helicopter. So I grabbed those three. Like I said, I did grab him some more. I think they're in the other box. Um, but I also grabbed this. I think this was from Dollar Tree as well. And this is super blast art. And it's a marker, but then you blow the marker and you can create stuff on paper. I feel like I had something like this when I was a kid. Um, and these are the two little pictures that it comes with. And then it comes with two markers as well. Next is going to be for Madison. It is this cute little stuffed stocking. And she loves stuff like this. She has a shirt that has, I forgot what this is called, but she has a shirt that has this. And it's like a heart and she's always messing with it. So I figured she would really like that. So I grabbed her that stocking. And then for Ryan, I got him this cute little stuffed moose. He loves stuffed animals. I'm not sure for how much longer he's going to like stuffed animals. But as of right now, he's still obsessed. So I got him this really cute moose. Also for Madison, I got her this little miniature ball. This is from Dollar Tree. She does like balls, but she has so many different ones. Um, but our dog keeps on ruining half of them. So I went ahead and just grabbed her this small one. This would be a great gift for a baby or a toddler as well. Just has a bunch of colorful numbers um, all over it. And I thought that was really cute. And I know she'll love this. 
item I got for Madison is this. Now I have previously bought her this and I have no clue what happened to it. So I did buy her another one and this is called Magic Water Painting. This is kind of like the Melissa and Doug ones with the water paint. Um, but this one I got from Dollar Tree and it's just a bunch of different mermaids. So you put water in here and then if she tries to color, cause she's super messy, if she tries to color like on the floor, on the table, it won't be messy. It'll literally just be water and it only works on the paper. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to put that in her stocking as well. Next two items is going to be for both Ryan and Madison. If you guys watched my previous Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen these. I will link that haul down below if you guys would like to watch it. But they are toothbrushes. I always put toothbrushes in my kids' stockings, but I thought these were really cute. They're called Brush Buddies and they're popping toothbrushes. So this one is a blue little elephant. And that one I'm gonna give to Ryan. And then this one is a little cow. So basically there's a button right there. You press the button and then the toothbrush pops up. So I thought that was really cute. So these are the last few Legos that I got Ryan. I knew I grabbed him more. So this one is a fireman with an ATV. And this one comes with 28 pieces. And then I also bought him like little men that he can put in all of these like little Lego trucks and cars. So this one is a soldier and also a policeman. And then this one is a fire squad and both of them come with two. Again, I bought these from Dollar Tree. Next is going to be another thing from Dollar Tree. It is these LED projector lights. Now I'm not sure how well this will work, but I just thought this was really cool. My son is obsessed with dinosaurs. So you just put batteries in it and then it's supposed to project um, a picture of dinosaurs on the wall or on the ceiling. I also had grabbed a Christmas one and it wasn't in my bag when I got home. So I might go back and grab the Christmas one and give it to him now. But this one I thought he would love. I also picked him up this little mini Nerf gun. This I had got from Target. It was on clearance for $1.50. So it's a miniature little Nerf gun. And then it comes with three of the soft um, little Nerf gun bullets. And we have larger Nerf guns, but they're too big for him. He, can, he can't like chuck it back. So I just figured a little miniature one would be fun for him to have. So next is gonna be these little hot slash cold iPads. Now this can be for girls and boys, but my son recently has been into like this phase where he's making me cut cucumbers and he's putting it over his eyes and he's laying down to relax. So I thought this would be fun for him. I thought he would like this. I can put it in the refrigerator and keep it nice and cool. And then he can put it over his eyes and they are just two little donuts. And I got this from Dollar Tree. Another item I got for Ryan is this puzzle set. He's been into puzzles recently. So I grabbed him this 48 piece puzzle by Toy Story. He likes Toy Story. So I thought that would be a really cute stocking stuffer. Next is gonna be for both Ryan and Madison and they are these light up balloons. So I got a unicorn for Madison and a dinosaur for Ryan. I got these a while back from Walmart. I found them on clearance for only 25 cents and they light up. But what I like about these is that it does have a button. So a lot of times when you get these light up balloons, you can't turn them off. So then the light um, dies really quickly. So what I like about these is that there is a button so they can turn off the button and save the battery light as far as like the light. So I thought that was just really cute for a quarter. So I grabbed them both one. Next for Ryan, I got him this miniature sketchbook. He loves to draw and color and write comics. And I thought this is really cute to put in his stocking and he can draw and do whatever he wants in here. And it comes with 50 sheets and this was from Dollar Tree. Next is going to be for Madison. And I found this really cute plush little elephant. This was also from Dollar Tree. And I just thought that was really cute. So I grabbed her that little plush toy. Also for Ryan, I found these Rocket Blast and also Volcano Signs. They're both two like little science kits I had also got from Dollar Tree. This one is called Rocket Blast and this one's called Volcano Science. I would obviously do this with him. I wouldn't let him do it alone, but that was really cute and educational. Next for Ryan is this Hot Wheels and I thought this was awesome as well. I got this from Dollar Tree and this is how Hot Wheels look like, but you are supposed to download an app and then I guess you can race on the app using this car. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I thought it was really cool. And for a dollar, I thought that was a great deal. Next is going to be a pack of markers. Again, my son loves dinosaurs. This is Jurassic World. He has the crayon set, but he doesn't have the markers. So I grabbed some of the markers. This is from Dollar Tree. If your kids love Jurassic World, go check them out. They have, um, the pack of crayons and they also have a pack of markers. I also got him, which I cannot find. I got him a little miniature notebook too. That was Jurassic World and it like changes, um, the picture changes in the front. 
it's like 3D. I have no clue where I put it. I hit it and now I can't find it, but grabbed some Apaca markers. The last thing for Ryan that I got was a stapler. I know, random, but I told him to write a list of gifts that he wanted. And on the stock and stuff for gifts, he put a stapler and it's because he likes to do um, comics and he likes to staple them together. So I just got him a blue stapler. And then the last item for Madison I got was this little mini doll. And she has a really cute purple dress with white bunnies. And then her hair is in pigtails. And I got this from Dollar Tree. Hey guys, so that is going to end my stock and stuff or gift idea for kids. I hope I was able to give you guys a few ideas for your little ones. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.